Do you have a plan B? Well, you better. Hey everybody, so I am back finally with another video. I'm in my closet again, as you can see. And today's topic is, as you can probably see from the title, why I stopped driving for Lyft. And my Lyft drivers out there who making money, who love what you do, you drop your nine to five, you think you just want to drive live for the rest of your life or even for the next couple months is paying your bills is doing what it needs to do you think everything is fine right but do you have a plan b though have you thought about what might happen if something happens to your car have you thought about what to do if lyft tells you you can't drive for them no more Do you have a plan B? So let me just get straight to the point. So basically, I just had a baby and I haven't been driving for like a month or two. So I don't know if they decided to run a background check on me because I haven't been driving. And then I, out the blue, had did a ride like a week ago. I was like, you know, let me do a couple rides. I'm My baby's two months old now, so let me, you know, get back into the groove or whatever. I did a couple rides on the weekend. And I think it was that Sunday that I got an email saying that something in my background check came back and that my account had to be put on hold. while they review it i'm like what i don't have nothing in my background the um company that does the background check sent me an email as well saying that that they had gave my information to live and they provided me with all the information that they gave lift which was my background check right So I'm scamming through. I'm like, what could what what could it possibly be? Come to find out, it was some traffic tickets that I got back in 2017, two years ago, um, that subsequently were thrown out. When I when I finally went to court for them, they were dismissed. There was three or four tickets that I had got. Three of them was thrown out, and then the last one she reduced it down to driving too fast for conditions. I paid a fine, and that was that. But the fact that I guess I got arrested for the tickets at the time, <laughs> maybe that was the issue. Tickets was driving with no insurance, driving with suspended license, and no registration, right? The only reason I got arrested is because in Atlanta, if you drive, um, I think it's with no, which one is arrestable? I think it's um, driving on suspended license. They will arrest you for that. In Atlanta, they will take you to jail for that. And um, they told my car as well because I had no insurance. But anyway, so that's probably why it showed up because I was taken to jail. For one lift, it was two years ago. Number one, I've been driving for two whole years with these same charges. And you pick now to bring it up and tell me I can't drive anymore. Number two, the charges were thrown out. I mean, yeah, I was taken to jail, but I was found innocent. Cause it's like, you know, you innocent until proven guilty. I was not guilty. Um, those charges were thrown out. So why are y'all holding it against me? Um, you may think everything is good, but, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all the email. They randomly do background checks which makes sense because w one minute you're driving but then the next minute what if you didn't got into some stuff and now you a murderer or you you know something like that crazy i don't know so i understand why they do background checks but the stuff that came up was from two years ago and so you telling me y'all haven't done a background check in two years and now you want to do one it just doesn't make sense you think everything is fine you think they accepted you or you slid through the crack or you got a ticket and nobody has said anything you never know you never know and, then, and the worst part about it is they won't even talk to me about it all they keep doing is emailing me the, a generic email which i'll include as well a generic email that just basically says oh something in your background check um you know is the reason 
blah 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 just like very generic nothing from somebody that can really explain i'm like can y'all look more into it can't you see that it was thrown out like they don't care about the details it is like kind of like a red flag any red flag and it's like they done with you which is crazy because um i had a 4.9 probably 5.0 rating I had done like maybe 2,000 rides. I mean, I was a really good driver. So I don't, I think that they should look deeper into situations, maybe on a case by case, if they can, because like you're losing, they just lost a really good driver, really for no reason, because here I am, I've been driving for two years with no problem. And the only reason now you deactivated my account is because of some tickets that I got one night, two years ago that, were thrown out actually when I went to court for them and I paid a small fine. It's like it it doesn't make sense. Lift. I'm 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 over it. They said there's something I can do like an appeal or whatever. But ever since it they turned it off, I had just I let I let it go. I let it go. Um, it's just over. It's just I feel like my time for driving lift is over, which is fine because I had been driving for two or three years. You know so. I just feel like plus I got a new car anyway so I'm like I don't have to worry about a whole bunch of people being in my new car um so yeah I just I just take it as an ending I'm embracing it like okay fine do something else um you know everything gotta come to an end you know my advice to live drivers if you're driving now is don't let that happen and luckily for me I had already stopped on my own. Like I said, I had had a baby, so I hadn't been driving for two months anyway. So I had already stopped on my own, which I kind of think is why they did it. I don't know. It could have just been a coincidence. But don't let that be you where one minute you're driving and it's your um, full-time job and that's where you're making all your money. And then the next thing you know, your account is suspended and you can't even talk to anybody about it. You know, and you just have to wait it out and it's a process. And now you don't know what to do and so lift drivers please have a plan b please have a backup plan don't think that just because it's been going good for a whole year that next year gonna be the same and a year after that and a year after that and a year after that i mean you never know always have a backup plan you know so that's pretty much it for this video lift driver beware get that plan also, if you're new to my channel, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. I have a list of new videos every single day that I plan on doing. I'm going to try. I said that in my last video. If you haven't seen my last video, go check that out. Um, it's I think it was the five worst things about living in Atlanta. I also have five best things about living in Atlanta too. But check out those videos. I have some cooking videos, a couple vlogs. Um, just to kind of get yourself familiar with me and who I am. Um, but yeah, definitely subscribe to my channel. Hopefully I will have a new video tomorrow. See you then. Bye.